is nothing I can say to you that will magically make you not a bitch. GLO. Betas like to be babysat. They love personalized attention and they fear rapid progress. I discovered TRP about a year and a half ago. It took me six months to get a gym membership. And only recently did I manage to squat 225 for three sets of five with shitty form. It's not even impressive and it took me almost a year. I've harassed the hell out of most of the senior-endorsed RP vanguards to the point that both Archwinger and GLO literally stopped answering me, justified considering they had taken the time to respond numerous times, and I just wasn't getting the message because of my ego. The crux of the issue. My whole life I thought I was special. I thought I was smarter and better than most people, that I needed special attention. Most of the messages I sent were along the lines of, I'm a special snowflake and I'm super smart. Here are my credentials, help me, give me some personalized advice. The reason why this was a shitty thing to do is because there is plenty of advice in the thousands of archived posts. To their credit, every single one of the people I messaged did offer me advice, and most of it was pretty good. But it was all redundant advice, all things that have been said before. My point is not that you shouldn't reach out to ask for advice, by all means, it's encouraged. But before you hit the post button and ask TRP, you need to be honest with yourself about whether you really need advice, or if you're just looking for a pussy plan because you don't want to put in the work. About a month ago, I asked GLO about starting my first cycle. His response, not in these words, was essentially, why the fuck are you going to take steroids when you don't even feed yourself properly? You don't gain weight. You can't even commit to a lifting plan and stick to it for eight weeks. Stop trying to cheat. You aren't smarter or better than decades of bodybuilding research. We know what works. You just aren't listening. Being a social dynamo with your shit together, making good money, feeding yourself properly, having masculine hobbies, holding frame. None of it is easy. When you tear the skin of your palm because it's your first time deadlifting and it hurts like hell, you can either throw some tape on it and finish your sets, or you can be like most people and leave the gym early. Run the pharmacy to get the lotion that smells the nicest and take a week off lifting to preserve your soft baby hands. What no one in TRP really likes to upvote is that becoming great is hard. It sucks. It's a grind. We talk about being a top 20% man, but it's lost its meaning. Think about what that means. In a room with 100 people, you are objectively better than 80 of them. Sitting on your ass and reading an online forum isn't going to do that for you. The solution isn't to find a motivational video or the best workout playlist. It's about developing the discipline to do what you have to do, regardless of your current state of mind. Even when you don't feel like cooking a healthy dinner after a hard workout, you do it because it has to get done. Ordering a pizza won't give your body the nutrients it needs to recover. If you've been on TRP for a month, then you pretty much get what it's all about. Reading more of the posts here to get motivated isn't going to tell you anything you don't know. It'll just make you feel like you're progressing while you're the same little bitch that you always were. I know because I've been doing it for almost a year. Ultimately, there is nothing anyone can say to you that will magically make you not a bitch. Response by GLO. I've talked to a lot of senior red pillars. I've read pretty much read everything they have written. What I can tell you is yes, we really do want to help. However, we are all deeply cynical that you won't help yourself. People feel good when they receive advice. Some people even feel good when they get called out. But that feel-good feeling is often used as an excuse to procrastinate. The reason I push lifting so hard is at the end of the day, I need you to become not a bitch. I have no interest in ball-coddling a bunch of soft pussy censored gits like MG Tao does or the way PUA gurus do. I have no interest in writing 29 different types of alphas. Find out which one you are or why women are responsible for all your problems. I have no interest in stroking your tiny penis so you can give me an upvote. I need you to lift hard and heavy, because at the end of the day, it's one of the few things that can rewire your brain into non-bitch mode. I need this because actually changing lives validates this whole red pill endeavor. Also, feminists hate beefy bros, so I'm trying to make as many as possible. Extra comment by deleted. When most people get advice, they don't apply it to make their lives any better. Subconsciously, they're just looking for someone to tell them a happily ever after bedtime story. The average beta when first unplugging does not truly understand the concept of trying, as in trying your hardest. Most people think they can just say, I did my best. 
and that qualifies as them doing their best. In reality, said person put in a half-ass effort and the results show for it. Think about a subject like calculus. Most people view calculus as something abstract, confusing, and difficult to comprehend. However, there are countless amounts of people who receive a B or greater in their calculus courses. The people who get an F and say, I did my best, simply just didn't fucking do their best. They half-assed the whole course and didn't put in the required time for study. Sure, there are people who can just naturally understand the material faster and more efficiently than others. Just as there are guys who are naturally strong and will have bigger arms than you even if they never went to the gym in their life and you've been lifting for a year. It's not a fucking excuse. You put in the time and effort that is required for you to excel. Going to the mall and half-heartedly approaching five girls you didn't even make eye contact with, slumped shoulders, and looking at your feet is not practicing pickup. That's the equivalent of picking daisies in the outfield at your little league baseball game when you should be looking alive and be ready for that fly ball coming out to center field. When you want to set a new PR for your daily run, you don't just say, maybe I'll make a better time today. You fucking push yourself to the brink of passing out from exhaustion to get one second faster. What it all comes down to is discipline and applied knowledge. When you fundamentally understand these concepts and do not bullshit yourself, you will learn how to win, and it gets addictive. A victory a day keeps the beta mindset at bay.